Garrett again. Uh, working on the 1009 Cut B tonight. Something other than the Jeep. Um, what I'm going to show you tonight, because I'm having to do it here real quick. Um, I've got this thing sold, thank God. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just tired of the damn thing. Um, I'm doing a starter relay modification. The problem with these things is this is your factory starter relay and they stick when you start it and it doesn't matter what you do unless you cut the battery cable the starter keeps running until it either burns something up catches on fire or eats the teeth off of the starter and ring gear so you cut it off and what you do is you replace it with a regular um, 30 or 40 amp relay in a block something like like this with the relay in it and uh, I've already got started and decided I would show you this um, since this is probably the last opportunity I'm gonna have to show you this for quite a while so um, from the factory you've got this cross shaped uh, four-way plug and what you've got on it is a red wire heavy duty and two purple heavy duty wires one of which has a white stripe on it and then you've got the black the black is the ground um, I have to look in here but I'm pretty sure the heavy duty purple with the white stripe is your uh, coil trigger wire and your ground is of course the black and then your red is your power in and your purple is your power out to the starter uh, so this garbage uh, they're junk they don't make them anymore can't find replacements so fuck it ah. so what I've done here is I've taken a regular uh, 30 or 40 amp relay this is a Siemens relay VF4 45 F11 it's a 12 volt relay now um, the funny thing about this relay is going across it to pull in the coil is 12 volts okay going across it here with the heavy wires to go down and uh, engage the starter solenoid that's 24 volts so you can't just use a 24 volt relay in here I've tried believe me uh, because the 12 volts you get is not enough to close the coil on the relay and actually complete the circuit here it, it doesn't even click it's not enough voltage so you've got to use a 12 volt relay which as long as you use a heavy one is not a big deal because you're not running the um, 24 volts across the triggering coil you're just running it across the switch itself uh, which isn't an issue um, so all you've got to do is um, yeah and I actually had another relay here I'd already put in and I wanted to keep it because it's a nice relay block and I'm cheap and uh, the guy I'm selling this to I really I mean that's gonna work just as well but I'm kind of particular about my relays and my, my relay uh, blocks so he's gonna get one that works just as well but it's not quite like that one um, black will go to uh, ground of course which is conveniently also black and the little red trigger wire damn that soldering iron's hot still um, that will go to this purple and white and then like I said before your your two actual wires that carry the voltage from the system down to the starter solenoid uh, red to red in this case and orange to purple uh, so that's all you need to know the the red and the purple uh, solid purple are what carries your voltage down to the starter you could actually strip these both touch them together and uh, start the vehicle as long as the keys on um, you can also wire it in with a toggle switch or whatever you want to do so um, it's just that simple uh, I'm I'm kind of in a hurry trying to get this done tonight and I haven't eaten I need a shower I'm sweaty I'm irritated today's been a shitty day um, but I still wanted to show you guys that because you are loyal viewers and 
This is, like I said, probably the last time I'm going to have that opportunity to show you this particular job for quite a while. Um, I, I don't work on these things often. Um, there's one other guy around here that has one, but he works on his own. Um, so, in, in fact, I work on Humvees more often. Um, hope this video was helpful to you. If you've got any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments. I'll, I'll answer them as soon as I possibly can, and uh, to the fullest extent that I can. Um, you know, if you like the video, if it helps you, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like, and feel free to share the video to any Facebook groups or, or whatever you got. Uh, it helps me out, believe me. So, we'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Peace.